Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, TW Home Show. My name's Todd and welcome you back to another video here today. It's gonna to be interesting. I got a new product to introduce as well. And please remember, anytime I reveal a product to you on my home show, these products are listed below the videos in the description below. It's got a link. It gives me a small commission if you like the product and you click on it and you wanna shop it or research it, feel free to do that. It doesn't cost you any extra. I'm just here to provide you the important information you need to know to go forward on making a decision for the correct product. Oh yeah, remember the good old days before 2020. 2019, we look back, we think, man, it was so great back then. We could all work with our hands, feel free to touch anything we want, to go grocery shopping, to pump our gas, and to go touch all the door handles within our office buildings. And we felt safe near the end of the day. We washed our hands maybe once and that was it. But then 2020 struck, guys, and the pandemic was among us all, all around the world. And what we did, we pulled out, we thought we were smart to go to the grocery store, to walk around the office. We had these little pump models in the corner of our offices or in the, underneath our cabinets in our homes. We brought these hand sanitizer pump style uh, units out and uh, that kept us safe. But sometimes these things were smelly, goopy, and uh, it seemed like once you, you got it on your hands, you wanted to go immediately to go wash them off. It, it was just uh, sticky and you couldn't work very well after you used this uh, slimy stuff, right? But we we're all trying to keep safe back in those days. So what we did, we found out they finally started releasing these in pretty much bulk. You couldn't pick a brand or anything. Just when you saw them on the shelves, you went and grabbed yourself one or two of these just like you did with toilet paper. And uh, these were a little bit better, but uh, they were spray, finer mist, and it did leave your hands less oily and uh, it dried pretty quick. That's why I like this stuff. And, uh, but the only thing is you'd come in out of your car or out of the grocery store back into your car, you grab this bottle in your console, now your contaminated hand is all over this bottle while you spray it. So what I would do is, you know, try to spray my hand first, wipe the bottle down and everything I touch, the steering wheel, rub that down. So this was a solution. We all dealt with this and some of us are currently using this solution and it's okay. I'm here to tell you it's okay, but I've got a better solution. So let's go through the intro and I'll introduce you to a new product. Hey guys, welcome back. Just sanitizing my hands with the new touchless hand sanitizers that are out now. I wanted to introduce these to you guys because you can get just as much coverage as you want just by the length of time that you want to uh, put your hands over this atomizing mist that comes out of here. And it stops when you pull your hands away. Feel nice and clean, no stickiness, and I just feel they're just uh, been sanitized like hospital condition. So this thing works excellent. We're gonna take a look at this product along with several other ones just like these, different shapes, different styles, and see which one turns out to be the number one or whatever you prefer. Stay tuned. All right, I'm gonna go over this one with you guys first. They all pretty much work the same, okay? They've got like a button on the side here. If you press that, now it should be off, it is off. And if you press it again, it will be on and activated. And you can keep these things powered on. Uh, one thing I found uh, useful for this is like in a car cup holder, we actually don't put it up front in the cup holder, but behind the console in the rear cup holder, just so that when you're uh, shifting your shift lever or something like that, it's not gonna trigger or activate the uh, sanitizer portion of this. And it works very well. It's got a USB type C charging port here on this particular one. I'm going to show you three other models as well. Now these don't necessarily have name brands, but I'll leave all the links below in the video description of the order that we go through these. 
Now this one here, you do have to be uh, careful of because of the, it does have, it's a good size container because it turns all this mist into atomizing mist in it. So it's really fine mist and the container will last quite a long time. I would say probably a, a few weeks. But this container, you do have to be uh, cautious with this particular model. The style, it's just a slight turn, just a, a, qu a quarter uh, inch of a turn, and then it releases it. So if you're taking this, you might say, hey, it's a good idea for my car, my office, and you take, fill it up and you take it to your car office, be careful that the, the uh, container does not come loose because it's not much attaching it. Now this unit, they all have like a, a, a dowel sponge in here that actually soaks up the alcohol uh, formula that you fill these up with. And it does have these three sensors so it can visualize anything that is above the atomizer here and knows when to uh, shoot the mist up into the air and clean whatever. So that's how that works. Now they recommend 70% isopropyl al alcohol. I've got this bottle here. This is actually 91% from CVS. It's working just fine in here. So whatever you can get in this day and age, right? Because alcohol hasn't been available for a few months. Now they're starting to get some out on the store shelves again. And these things are coming in real handy. So that's how these work. The one button to activate it. You've got a charging port. You've got an atomizer mister uh, outlet right here. And then your hand or handless sensors that are on the top that turn on or off with your activation button. So let's take a look at the next one. I haven't filled it up yet. Let's see how that goes. All right, here's the next one we have. It is a slightly larger one, not by much. And actually, I think this container here, the first one is larger. It holds more alcohol solution than this one. This one, you grab it in the centers right here, pull that bottom tray off. This is just a tray. This doesn't hold the liquid in it. This is what holds the liquid, this bottom uh, greenish tone bottle here. Just unscrew that from below the case here. Pull that out. You want to make sure these are fully charged as well. I've already pre fully charged all of these, so they're ready to go. I just don't have them all filled up with the alcohol yet. So here's your sponge, small diameter length sponge. And that just sits in there on top of a spring in the bottom here. So to fill it up, you'll pull out your sponge. I would just set it in your tray right here and we'll go ahead and fill up our unit. Now you may want to have a funnel handy. I don't have a funnel. I'm just going to try to aim really good. All right, there we go. I do have a microfiber cloth here just to clean that off. Any drippage, put our sponge back in. They say you wanna let that sponge soak up for a couple minutes. And uh, so we'll see how that goes. It's gonna suck up that alcohol solution into it. We're gonna fast track it by doing that. We'll go ahead and screw it into the bottom now. Don't turn this over, you gotta keep it faced up and just screw it into the bottom of the housing like this. This one I kind of like, if you're traveling with it, you're taking it with you, maybe you want to take it to your RV, maybe you want to take it to your office, something like that. It's going to be in this container and then also with this as a backup tray to catch any leakage. And that just snaps on there. Here's your power button on this one. Like I said, compared to here, they, this one's a little bit larger but the container is a little bit smaller. So this will still probably fit in a cup holder if you want to take it in your car. Be good for an office uh, at work or something like that. Here's your USB charging port. This is a USB-C as well. I like these two models because these are the USB-C, more modern chargers. And uh, there's your sensors for your motion activation. There we go, guys. It's, it's already working. You should let that soak for two minutes, so but here's your on off button here press that i think you got to hold this one oh two taps that's right this one you have to press two times and it turns off 
So it's not working at the moment. Press it once, it goes on two times and it's off. So that's how that one works guys. Pretty cool, huh? Cool things to keep you up to date in this modern pandemic world, I'm telling you. So I'm gonna show you two other ones. They, they get slightly larger from here, but we'll compare the sizes and we'll move on. All right, back to the large one. It is working okay. We've gotta make sure when you fill these up that that sponge sits for about two to three minutes so that it soaks up that sponge all the way up to the atomizer at the top in order for it to be able to give you that fine mist spray coming out. Now this one's got the power button on the front. This one is unique as well. I found out if you hold the power button on for about two or three seconds, now you get this nice glow in the bottom tray here, a blue glow, purplish glow. This one did have the USB-C charging port and now we should be good to go. Let's try this mist out. Good amount of mist. It's getting my hands wet. And it's up to you how much you want to put on there. So get some on there and then rub it around. You're not touching this unit. Nobody has to touch it. Nobody has to contaminate it with the pandemic virus and nice and safe. Another thing you can do with these units, guys, I'm going to show you here in just a minute. All right, guys, another thing we can do with these little units besides keeping our hands nice and clean and sanitized. We can use it on our cell phones, guys. So keep your cell phone nice and clean. Let's just put that over there. Spray that down front and back on your cell phone. Make sure you have a microfiber towel handy and just wipe that down afterwards, right afterwards. And it's alcohol, of course, so it dries really quick. And uh, so you haven't really soaked it or anything. Nothing to harm your cell phone or tablet with. Like I said, you can do your tablet as well. Do our tablet here. I'm trying to show you, I'm trying to tilt it up for the camera, but so you can see that mist going on there. But we've got this tablet nice and sterilized now, guys, nice and clean. You know how dirty your hands get using that. You can even do it for your uh, remote units around your house, remote control units. Just keep a microfiber towel there, get that wiped down. Now you're nice and sterilized, your Fire TV remote. Also, found I can use it for my keyboards too, computer keyboards in your office, anywhere you uh, have a keyboard, home, office, gently spray some over there and uh, we can get all these working at once. You turn them all on and we're getting our keyboard done. Guys, look at that. Take your microfiber cloth. I'm going to leave a link to uh, some microfiber cloth sets as well in case you want to pick those up and use it, these as a cleaning tool as well. So guys, what'd you think? You like these? I really do, I think they're handy. You don't have to touch the device at all. You don't have to get contaminated. And hope you like them. If you do, I'll leave the link below. And guys, thank you for tuning in again today to my show, and I'll see you on the next one. I'm gonna tell you that I'll miss you. I'll miss you if you go. Just how much